So this message is for anyone that feels othered in some way by society, by their family, by their friends even, uh, and anyone who is longing to know how to step into their authentic core self. So... moment when it takes a dive under the table. Oh boy. Okay. So first I want to say that the deck that I picked up is very angelic in imagery and it's going to be using some traditional terminology uh, and archangel symbolism. So if that doesn't resonate, really lean into the domains of the symbolism. So the first card is spiritual support. And this is really saying that the strength that we can rely on at this particular time as we're feeling othered is our spiritual support, not religious, spiritual. And we have to be willing to affirm that we are receptive to this support. We need to allow there to be an invitation for the forces, the angels, ancestors, guardians, guides, gods, goddesses, cosmic, juju, whatever, <laughs> or even just your willpower, your higher self. We have to be willing to actually tune into that right now and open to what spirit wants to say to us. However, we relate to that. So the next card is the miracle of prayer. And this is the heart, what the gift of the heart is at this time. And the miracle of prayer here, I want you not to think of prayer as one thing, as it being something that we, we do to a God. Prayer is an action. It is a, an embodied action or a mindful action that tunes us into that spiritual energy. So prayer can be, in this case, dance. It can be making music. It can be meditation. It can be traditional prayer. It could be praying a rosary. It could be doing a walking meditation. There's no right or wrong. It's the miracles that you can receive when you tune into the gift that allows you to tune into your own spirit, whatever that looks like. And the challenge right now is the change and transition. And this is represented by Archangel Azriel here. The challenge is the change and the transition right now because <laughs> it is a huge tumultuous time of separation and division being brought to our attention more than ever. And that's not serving us anymore. It's only serving a very small group of people. And yet that group of people holds a majority of the power. And there's no reason for that to be the case. But challenging that in a way that is not just, just going to create more turmoil and more chaos and more harm is really, really hard to do, especially when we're in pain and we're witnessing the people we love be in pain. So this transition is not going to be easy. It is the challenge, but the gift and the strength here is that spiritual support and having routines of prayer or spiritual activities that allow us to tune into what is true for us and not have to worry so much about what other people think. So if this landed for you, I hope that you know that you are not alone in this experience of just wanting a better world for everyone <laughs> and 
I would love to support you in that journey and be a part of your community if you're longing for that.